first band that like, I listened to that really started to interest me in music again because they were so clever and original and if you think that they were doing that 10 years ago and the rubbish that was happening at that time they were really doing uh, rhythmical stuff that I'd just never heard before and it just gave me and Alex and then Petta so much enthusiasm for modern music in, in rock. Mm -hmm. Time anyway, my love. Hey! Antenna. Antenna. I'm, yeah, I'm from Massachusetts, north, just north of Boston. But I lived in Boston before I came here. So the Pixies are very big actually in Boston um, and the East Coast in general, being a Boston band. They're actually from UMass. And uh, so everybody kind of knew who they were, and they were quite popular. But Boston has a history of, uh, of being a music town, a music city. Um, that I was a big fan also of the Throwing Muses, who were around at the same time. Uh, they ended up being uh, Kristen Hirsch and, and Belly. Uh, Tanya Donnelly became Belly. I'm not such a fan of Belly, but uh, the Throwing Muses were amazing as well. You never could find a time anyway, my love. Když jsme začínali hrát a jezdili jsme hrát první koncerty mimo Prahu, my jsme hráli většinou na Moravě a jezdili jsme takovýma starýma třápama autama, aby nás se moc nestálo, ty nám většinou počívali kamarádi a poslouchali jsme. A většinou to dopadlo tak, že když jsme se blížili k tomu místu, kde jsme měli hrát, tak jsme poslouchali na plný pecky Pixies. Já jsem Pixies předtím moc neznal, to vlastně mě učili holky, vlastně možná jsem tu kasetu nevrátil. A uh, tak jsem mě napadlo, že by, se, že by nebylo marný udělat ty akustické nástroje, v podstatě cover verzi, nápad to byl můj. I mean, I like, think never, but no, I'm not thinking about it, not at all. Yet, no. I mean, like, we're just a big, like, a big label just wouldn't be interested in us. They just wouldn't, you know, because they'd want us to do more promotional stuff, which we're not all that interested in doing, and they'd probably want our music to be a bit more disco and a bit more radio friendly, and we're not interested in that either. So really, a uh, small label is the only, it's the only way for Here comes your man. <laughs> Here comes your chocolate. Here comes your chocolate. <laughs> Here comes your chocolate. <laughs> <laughs>